here's the trailer that we're going to use uh, we're going to end up making a animal uh, transport so I need a cage of some sort to put farm animals in so we're going to use this trailer and then we're going to take one inch by one inch steel tubing which I have some cut right here and then we're going to build a frame up which is leaning against the dog cage we're going to put the frame up on it and then we're going to use this we're going to use this wire that's four by four um, they come in 16 foot panels four foot wide uh, they call it goat or sheep panels and that's what's going to be on the inside the steel frame for the cage for the trailer for the animal hauler okay we got the frame laid out here this is for the side piece and you have to go to corner to corner right here to make sure it's square so you do this corner first and then you go over Then you go, then you go over and do the opposite corner. Make sure it reads exactly the same. This is so that it will be square. The next thing I do, take a level and make sure that the steel's level on each one of the bars. If not, make the proper adjustment. But you want to make sure it's level so when you weld this it's not twisted. Well we got the frame welded put the uh, one by ones up and down for this is the side of the cage and after we got it welded and squared now we're getting ready to put the wire onto the inside portion of the cage. Okay I got all the one by ones done. I put the wire on it. And remember this is the goat wire, four inch by four inch. I got it clamped down to all the beams. Now I'm physically welding the wire to the one by ones. This is the one side panel uh, for the cage. Okay, we have the back side done or the front side of uh, the cage. This goes in front of the trailer. So everything's welded down and everything. So now we have to make the door panel next. So we're going to start working on it. Okay, we got the door part done, which goes in the back of the cage or the back of the trailer. And then door opens up so. It's got the wire all on the one by one. It's all welded together, each one. Put the hinges in. Put a couple stops on the door so when you close the door, it fits it. I still got to put a latch, still got to put a latch on it. And so now we have the two sides done, the back, and then the door side. So now we got to assemble them, and then we got to do the top. Because I'm going to put the same wire on the top uh, for the whole thing so it's one nice cage for the trailer so this is where we're at today I probably won't do the next until tomorrow I got four sides of the cage made now and what we're going to do is drill a 5 16 inch ho holes in the side of these and put bolts so if you want to disassemble it you can and reassemble it and after we get this done, then we got to build the top. So the cage is all welded together, has no bolts in it or anything until now. So we're making really good progress on it, and we should have it done by tomorrow, uh, excluding painting, that is. So now we're going to drill holes into the one by one to attach each side together. I'm going to use four bolts on each side 
uh, so it's strong and then you know, bolt it to remove each panel for storage if you want to do it that way or just lay it bolted together. Got our bolt 5 16 Always just use it, make sure you always use a washer for some unknown reason. And we put the bolt in, another washer, and a nut. Really, you only need a two and a half inch bolt. Well, you don't really need a two and three quarters, but if they didn't have any, they had three inches, so that's what I took. So that's how it's going to be. Okay, right here you can see the bolt. And we're going to have four on each side. So as soon as we get that done, we'll be working on the top. Okay. What we did, we squared up, got it all bolted together. We squared up the cage so that it's perfectly square. And you just take a tape measure from corner to corner, corner to corner. Make sure they read the same measurement and it's square. We took another one by one bar and we put it on the top right here. As you can see, we have everything clamped together with clamps on the top. Make sure the corners are really smashed together. We got the bolts in it now. And after you clamp it all together around the perimeter, I'm going to get up there and I'm going to weld the top joint of each one of those. And after that, I'm going to weld a couple bars four more one here one here there and there I'm going to weld four more bars going across i'm just going to weld the top surface so when i'm done i'll take this off put it on my workbench to finish welding it and do the wire on top i just need to make sure this is top is going to be identical to the top of the cage so you don't want to get it out of square you don't want to make it uh, where it gets pregnant on one side and not the other, so it don't match. So that's why I got it clamped all over the place. And I'm gonna weld the bars across now. And then I'll take it down and put it on uh, some uh, stands and then we'll weld the wire directly to the top and finish welding the bars. Well, this right here is the top of the cage. Uh, I was going to explain it, uh, but my great GoPro wasn't pro. It crashed. So this is the only picture I have it sitting there on my stand. Uh, what I did on it was one by one. Like I said, I built, you know, tacked it up on top. And then when I laid it down, I welded the wire onto the top of it and everything and got it all prepped ready to go what we're going to do with the cage to attach it to the trailer you can drill holes down here and put bolts in and physically bolt it to the trailer if you want to make it secure and uh, where that you don't want to remove it very often that's not what we're going to do we're going to make some hooks right here on the beams like two on each side one there and probably one about right here on each side we're going to put a hook and it goes down the strap will go down to the trailer and it'll be physically strapped in that's how the cage will be secured to the trailer because uh, we don't want it physically attached because this won't be setting on the trailer only when we have something to move the easiest way to make these hooks, well, you can say you can get some flat bar or something and drill a hole in it, but that's not how I do it. I'll show you how we do it. We have a big chain, and these are fairly nice sized links that we're gonna be working with. What I usually do is just cut a link out of the chain to make a loop and a hook. It's very easy. I end up cutting right here, and right here so I can get the link out and then we flatten this off just a little and then we physically weld that 
to your item. Then you got an instant hook. It's really cheap and everything. This chain's been sitting around out in the yard for years. So now it's time to get some use out of it. So we always use cutoff saws. That's what I use for everything. Bench. Now we just take the heavy chain out here. Now if I'm dumb enough to grab that, because that's red hot. Let me take it out of vice, put it back at the top like that so it's easier to work with. Just got a grant grinder. This has got the sandpaper on it. I use that for a lot instead of the grinding wheel because I was too lazy to change it. So what I try to do is flatten it off. As you can see, it's pretty flat here. And we physically weld it to this right here, just like that. There you can see in there. It gets welded here, here, and you've made a pretty hook. Okay, as you can see, we got the ring here. And what I do is just physically weld both sides of this really good. And it makes a, the hook is actually probably stronger than the steel uh, beam that I'm holding it to. Uh, the only problem we're going to have is this chain link is really thick, heavy duty, and this is real thin. It's to bond it together without blowing a hole straight through. Okay, now we got a nice strong hook right here that will hook the strap down to the trailer. So we're going to do three more of those and then the hooks will be done. We put it on the trailer just to make sure it fits and everything. So what we did, I have hooks here on this trailer. It goes to the hooks that I welded. So I'm going to use four of these straps to hold the physical cage down to the trailer because I don't want to put any more holes in the trailer in the bottom and plus at my age you know, it's hell to put bolts down there and get them in and out all the time so we use the straps the hooks goes to the hooks of the trailer now the back 
Here's the tailgate. Just gonna lower the tailgate down. Makes a perfect ramp. And then in the back here, in the back, the floor of the trailer right now is wood, but we're gonna have the rubber mats. So rubber mats get put in here so that they, you know, animals can stand without sliding around because you don't want a wooden floor. The door latch, as you can see, the way it's made is one by one inch tubing with a three quarter inch tubing inside. You pull the latch part out, just open it up like so. As you can see, the door has two hinges on it and then the stops are here. So you just close the door and you push it shut. Take a pin, put the pin in like this, and there it goes. And then the tailgate will close back up. So it's really difficult to get out of the cage. So the only thing we have left now is to paint this. Everybody knows how to paint, so I'm not going to show me painting it. So I got to tear it all apart again because it's just bolted together so you can store it easy if you want it. And oh, also, I put hooks here at the top with the chain just like I did the side. This is so that I can put a chain from here to there or ever how I want to do it or crisscross. I have a skid loader so I can put a chain and take the forks and grab it uh, to help me lift it and move it around if I need to. Or I have an A-frame where I can crisscross it, put a hook in the middle, and lift it right up on the A-frame so it goes straight up. So that's just an option. It's just hooks there so I can put a chain there or a strap or whatever what I want to use. So I figured while I was welding it and made the other ones, I just made four extra and welded them on. So this is going to be the conclusion of the trailer build. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This is one of the projects. Uh, a person should be able to build this in about a day and a half if uh, if they're 30 years younger than I am at my age it took me four and a half days and that was working uh, anywhere from a couple hours to 10 hours a day so uh, not very fast anymore but before this would be a day and a half project uh, excluding painting. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. When you get a chance, if you would please subscribe to my channel, that would help us out. Thank you.